Hi guys, welcome back to this video. So today I wanna to do a video on some misconceptions about being a nurse. And I actually asked you guys on my Instagram, what are some misconceptions that people have about nurses and the nursing profession? And you guys gave me a ton of great responses that I just couldn't like agree with more. So I'm excited to share them with you all. But before we get started, today's video is sponsored by Board Vitals. Board Vitals is an online resource for people in the healthcare profession. And they provide medical question banks to help you prepare for things like the NCLEX or if you're working in the ICU, your CCRN. And they provide a ton of different awesome questions to help you study and i'm not gonna lie when i studied for the nclex that's all i did was just questions after questions after questions after questions and what i love about board vitals is that it's online and it gives you rationales for why your answers may or may not be correct and there are thousands of questions Board Vitals is good for preparing for your NCLEX, um, but they also have a ton of other medical question banks on there for if you are in medical school or if you are becoming a nurse practitioner. So if you're in the healthcare field, you can find something on Board Vitals. I have a promo code for you guys that I'm gonna leave here and in the description box, and I will also leave their link down below, so make sure you check them out. Okay, so let's get into some misconceptions. Um, one misconception that people have nurses is that we went into nursing because we failed medical school or that we weren't smart enough to be a doctor and that could not be further from the truth. Maybe some people, I guess, but I would say the majority of us chose nursing because that pathway fits what we love to do better than a more medical physician route. I know personally for myself, I wanted to become a nurse because I liked the nursing medical model more than like the physician doctor model of care. And I know hands down 100% that I could have gone to medical school if I wanted to and probably been successful at it. But the nursing world and profession just appealed a lot more to me. Another misconception is that we are just like the doctor's slaves or personal butlers and we're running around just like bowing down to the doctors and this is so false really the world of nursing should be a team sport you are collaborating with physicians and everyone involved in your patient's care i can't tell you how many times i have brought something up to a physician that has changed the patient's plan of care we are not just running around like bowing down to these doctors that's silly another misconception is that we just pass med no we do so much more than pass meds um, yes, some days it feels like that that is a big portion of our job, but we do things like assessments, vital signs, we chart, we communicate and collaborate with providers, respiratory therapists, social workers, um, our techs, we ch draw labs, we check blood sugars, we titrate drips, we're monitoring intake and output and just so many things, I can't even explain them all on here. Someone else also said a misconception was all we do is clean up poop, and I'm not gonna lie, some days it feels like that, but obviously same with the med pass, that's not all that we do. Another misconception is that the nursing world is all females. And I will say the majority of the nursing world is females. However, it's becoming a lot more prevalent to have more males in the nursing world, which I think is awesome. I think that just because you're a female or just because you're a male doesn't mean that you're gonna be a good or a bad nurse. I just like, I'm all for equality and neutrality. I think the nursing profession doesn't have to be labeled as female or male. The number one misconception that you guys told me was that nurses make a ton of money. And I guess this could be different depending on what you define as a lot of money. I would say nurses make an amount of money that yes, you could pay for your rent, you could have a car, you can pay for your groceries but you're not necessarily gonna be going to the Bahamas every single year on an amazing vacation. There are days where I'm like, you cannot pay me enough to do this job. And then there's days that are like, oh, I love this job so much I'd work for free. Another misconception is that working three days a week is easy. Um, newsflash, it's not easy. Seriously, working three days a week, but working 12 plus hour shifts is exhausting, especially when you are constantly taking care of other people you go home and literally crash. And then if you have to work two, three, or more days in a row, it is a lot. We cram our whole work week, what a normal like eight to five job would be Monday through Friday, 
in three days. Thank you guys so much for sending me all these misconceptions. I was like brainstorming them. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna get people's input because I know different things that people say about the nursing world. And I'm like, no, those are totally false. But it was nice to hear from you guys that like we're on the same page. So check out my Instagram. I like to do these polls a lot and I post a lot of other great information on there. And thank you to Board Vitals for sponsoring today's video. I love them. I love working with them. Oh, hi Ivy. And Ivy loves them too. She answers a ton of medical questions on there all the time and she doesn't really do very well, but the rationales are helping her a lot. She likes to read the rationales and then she gets them right the next time, huh? Because you're a smart golden retriever pup. She wants to kiss me. Yep. I don't want to be licked. Anyways, check them out. Use the promo code and the link is down in the description box. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.